Okay, what's up everybody? It's me, Erica. We are down here to discuss the T.S. Madison experience, okay? Um, I don't have many notes. I, it was actually a pretty good episode. Because I am a supporter of T.S. Madison, all of this for me just seems like I'm watching like behind the scenes of what is happening, which I really like. I, I, I love seeing what happens after the cameras go off. But everything I've seen, like I've been watching the morning shows. I watch the morning shows when I'm at you because know, she comes on in the morning right when I'm getting ready for work. And I've watched the morning shows. And then when she went to After Dark, I watched a few After Darks. Um, so I, I saw all the progression of what happened with Queen Supreme Court with COVID and everything. It's like I've fo I follow Maddie. So I've seen all of this and it's so insightful to see the other side of it it's really cool so she's talking about how in october she's a libra you know maddie's a libra she's turning 43 um and she says since she's been offline the money has slowed down right and she needs to make sure that she keeps the party going so legra calls and maddie is having this woe is me moment she was like girl get yourself together um, your birthday is coming up. I'm gonna put something together for you. And um, she said, you no, know, she started talking about how everybody was calling her because of the video that she put out, right? And um, she goes, y'all don't know what I feel inside. Sometimes I got to get this stuff out, right? So she was like, that was just light work. Y'all really don't know that. And that, like I said, that's the one thing I love about Maddie because she will get somebody together. And I could see how people telling you that they want you to stop being who you are in order to attract another fan base when the truth is the people who are already supporting you knowing your background and your history and everything those are the people like why do you want to attract people who are not necessarily supportive like just make her visible and people who will come will come not everybody has to like her and she shouldn't have to change her personality or an aspect of her personality in order to get someone to like her because it is very inauthentic and that's that goes against everything everything that goes against everything for me so i could understand where she's coming from anyways so she gets on the phone with New York and she's picking up this package and they talking about having teeth on packages and stuff like that. And so they talk about um, Maddie hiring this black woman contractor to come in and kind of get the studio together. And so they're not going to be they're going to be out of commission in the studio for a little while. And so I remember when Maddie was saying, we're not going to be the morning show. We're not going to have the morning show for a few days. So I imagine that's when she was filming this part, right? Because I just remember those times. Anyways, so she says, um, what did she say? The manager, her manager was getting on her. This is what she's telling New York. Manager's getting on her about the, um, the video that she put out clapping back. And so... New York says she supports her clap back, right? So she's like, okay, well, I'm about to do this other show called Maddie After Dark, T.S. Madison After Dark, where we talking about everything, 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 everything. So New York was like, girl, I love talking about that or whatever. So she was like, I just need a space where I'm free to be me and I can share my stories or whatever. So New York is like, okay, she was like, you going to do the um, After Dark with me? New York agrees. And then she was like, okay, so she's like, where are you going to shoot it? Because they can't shoot in the basement. So she's like, we're going to shoot it in my boudoir. We're going to shoot it in my bedroom. She was like, okay, it's great, whatever. So Legra calls Maddie and tells Maddie that it's a problem. Every Pam is calling her, what's the lady's name? Tricky? What's the lady's name? I don't know the other lady's name. Mickey? Something like that. The other woman who said she had been in the business for 23 years, I guess, you know, getting talent and for shows and stuff like that. She's the one that said that Maddie would have been great on The View. I mean, not The View. The talk with Sharon Osbourne, with that bigot, Sharon Osbourne. No, ma'am. 
No, ma'am, honey. That would have been the last day of the damn filming had Maddie gone down there. Because I believe that because Sharon is so crass to every other person, she definitely would have said something out of order to Madison. But anyways, that didn't happen. Luckily for Sharon Osborne, that didn't happen. Anyway, so she was like, I got to be me. If homegirl don't like it, I got to let her go. If the other homegirl don't like it, I got to let her go. I cannot change who I am for people. And I'm, I fully support that. I don't agree with changing any parts of your personality in order to attract other people now growth is good now if you it's a natural growth progression and then some people will fall off and some people will stay with you it happens as you go through your journey and people are following your journey people you know they people who don't like you anymore who don't resonate with you anymore they'll drop off the people that still resonate with you they'll stay with you why would you try to create some kind of inauthentic personality or a mask to attract people because it's not real they're not being attracted to you on real pretenses so i am fully in support of her so leg girl's like girl you know i'm down with you girl or whatever but you just you're the one who told me you wanted to get to this place and maddie said i know what i i know what i said i know what i said but I'm telling you what I need and, you know, I come with everything. This is what I come with. So I got to do it on my terms. So my supporters will support me. So she was like, girl, you in? Is we good? And she was like, yeah, girl, we're good. So they all good. So <laughs> Miss Mary, <laughs> Miss Mary and Madison are sitting at the table, right? They drinking some wine. Look like the wine is almost gone. I said, okay, so Miss Mary, Miss Virgin, you know, I call Miss Mer Miss Virgin Mary because she hasn't had a man touch her in 27 years. She's a virgin again. <laughs> but baby, they had a conversation. <laughs> and they was talking about her first orgasm. So she said, I was with your dad. Your dad was the first person who touched me. But the man I was with after, baby, I don't know what he did, but my body started feeling funny. She started to describe her first orgasm. It was hilarious because Maddie was like, did it make you feel dirty? And then Maddie was like, did he stick it in your butt? And she was like, he didn't stick it in my butt, but he stuck it where it needed to be. <laughs> she said, did you feel dirty? That was so funny to me. That was so cute. I said, oh, y'all gave Miss Mary something to drink so she could start talking. <laughs> So Maddie was like, you see how comfortable you were talking to me about your first orgasm. Let's talk. I want to talk about that. I want to start a new show. She was like, another show? She was like, yeah. See, and then Maddie's thing, she was telling Legra as she was walking down the street snacking, taking Dorito bags out of her bosom. She said she wants a show where she can encompass all of that. So I think, a oh, somebody got into a car accident. I just heard it. I heard the whole thing. Did you guys hear it? <laughs> I heard it. Anyway, so what Maddie was saying that she wants a show with it that encompasses all of that, the Queen Supreme Court, the morning show, and the after dark. I think Queen Supreme Court and after dark together and then the morning show maybe three times a week because you don't want to wear yourself out. You know what I'm saying? Like we'll come with the, the new morning topics every morning or whatever. I need somebody to got into their heart. Anyways, so I agree with that. She wants to do all three of the all three of the things, all, all of her shows together, right? But like I said, I think After Dark and Queen Supreme Court should be late in the in the evening, like it normally is. But you could put that together. I don't know. I mean, I think I don't know. Just I don't know how you would put. I don't know, because After Dark is After Dark after dark. Y'all listen to the Maddie's After Darks, child, babe. <laughs> So I don't know how they're going to do it or whatever. So Tiffany tells her she can't come to After Dark because her man, she's stigmatized child. And the man, her man don't think it would be a good idea or whatever. And so Maddie is a little upset about that. So she was like, dick is on my brain right now. <laughs> Tiffany is crazy. She was like, I can't do nothing but respect that. She was like, but I just want to be nasty. I want to have fun. I want to be down here talking about what I want to talk about. So whatever. So Legra, um, Legra tells them, oh, tells Maddie, we're going to do something for your birthday. And uh, Maddie says, but I, I know, Legra says, well, I don't know if everybody is really as excited as I am. She was like, what? Why? What happened? So she's trying to make it seem like nobody really wants to do anything. And so they're going to have a surprise for her. They're going to have her surprise party 
and she was like, well, what are we going to do? Maddie said she wants to do something she's never done before. She was like, okay, right. what are we going to do? Right. I, you know, can you make her stop barking, please? God. Um, she says, um, um, I got you. I'm going to have, I'm going to let you do something. You know, we got, we're going to do something special. So Chi Chi and Matt, she was like, Madison said that she had to figure out who she can get as a co-host, somebody who can get down in the gutter with her and who better than Chi Chi. So her and Chi Chi went to the wig shop and they're getting wigs for the, honey, Lee Tanya, when I tell you, it's Chi Chi with in drag right with lingerie it's chi chi they down at the what is it called the yellow what is it called what does she call it and that's where Litanya dances not at the pink but it's the i think it's the yellow if i if my memory serves me correctly and Litanya, she trying on wigs and it was funny because um they're trying on wigs and they're so they're picking out names she was like no you're gonna be l-e-e -E, tanya right and then Chi Chi was like, do I have to shave? <laughs> shave my mustache? She's like, no. <laughs> it's like, girl, I'm telling you. When you saw Chi Chi dancing, <laughs> that wig on. <laughs> Bitch, I was getting my fucking life. And it's so funny because what's funny about me, Tanya, and the whole thing is Maddie in the back saying the things about Lee Tanya and the shit be rhyming and it just be off of the top of her head. <laughs> Lee Tanya, ow. And it's so funny to me. It is, it's really funny because it's Chi Chi. It's just so funny. Please go, if you haven't watched Madison After Dark and how she be pumping up Lee Tanya. Lee Tanya got her own Instagram page. <laughs> Baby, when Maddie put them eyelashes on Chi Chi, Chi Chi was like, girl, this gives me a whole new look. Yes. <laughs> Lee Tanya, ow. So, Legra goes and picks up Madison and they go horseback riding. And Maddie was not, she looked like she was like, not sure she wanted to do it or whatever. So they do the horseback riding. She says, you wanted to do something. You said you want to do something you never done. So that was cute, right? So she was talking about, um, I don't know. She said something about that. She liked the after dark, but something about it being raunchy and a word that she couldn't say. And I couldn't, what word was it? Was it pussy? What was she saying? Why did I whisper that? <laughs> Cause my window is open. But why, what, what was it that she was saying? Y'all tell me in the comments. Y'all tell me in the comments. Cause I couldn't hear what she was saying. And then she was like, you want to say it again? And she was like, don't say it anymore. And Maddie was saying it. And it was like, bleep, 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 bleep. Did she tell y'all what she was saying? Okay. Anyway, so she says that they're going to Miami. They're going to get an RV and they're going to go to Miami. And she was like, she has, she needs some closure. And she said, especially with her dad. So she said she's scared, she's nervous, she's confused, she's a Libra, child. Y'all yeah, niggas can't make a decision to save your life. Don't say anything, I'm a Libra rising, so I'm talking about myself too. I have, I don't think I'm indecisive. I think I don't think I'm indecisive. I, I think I've gotten away from being indecisive and asking someone else's opinion about something that I want, trying to see what they would say. I've, I've stopped that, I stopped doing that. Anyways, so they're back at the house. They're helping with the gas um, heat lamps. And so they're trying to roll them down. They're going to have something in the back of Maddie's house, right? Craig won't help. I didn't see the big deal as to why Craig not helping. Like later, Oliver starts complaining about that. But I don't see how it was a big deal. There was two gas lamps. They tilted forward and they had wheels on them. You could have what Chi Chi did. And there was only two. So I don't know. I didn't get it. I was like, why is he complaining about that? Anyways, so where's Legra? If I don't get a cocktail soon, they was like, where's the drinks? What's going on? Craig said he was invited as a guest. He was not invited to help decorate. None of that. And even if you, I, I, I don't know. I didn't see the problem with him not helping. It was only two gas lamps and two people had them already. What else did they need Craig to do? Maybe we missed it. I don't know. Because I didn't get it. Anyways, so they surprised Maddie. She was happy. She was like, I'm going to cry. And this and that. They had Chi Chi. They were praying. And it was cute or whatever. 
And then she was like, I want to take y'all to Florida. And Chi Chi starts twerking. He's like, hey, we going to Florida. We all going to be in an RV or whatever. And then, and then Maddie tells Craig, you coming. Because, you know, Craig is bougie, right? Craig is like, girl, I don't know if I want to be in a space with all you bitches at the same time. I'm cool. But then Oliver goes, okay, so if everybody's coming, I need to know what it's going to be. Because... Is Craig, what? I didn't get it. I was like, Oliver, what are you coming up? Why? Why does this have to be conflict? And so they start yelling at each other. And then, and then, um, when do you ever work? You bringing up, he didn't help us with nothing. I didn't understand why they need, I didn't understand. I was confused. Y'all help me out. Because I didn't see what the problem was. Two gas lamps, two people taking them. What you need Craig to do? I don't get it. But we, everybody know Craig is bougie. So it's, Craig is a white woman, honey. So we already know what it is. Anyways, y'all, that was the end of the episode. They start hot, you know, arguing. Maddie guys has her hand on her head. So this is going to be funny because they're going to be in the RV. I don't, did I see Craig in the RV? I'm not sure. Maybe he's going to drive behind them. I don't know. I did, did I see him? I got to go look at next for next week's episode. Anyways, y'all, that's my time. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments. Peace.